Vizier just released a brand new 12 pan eyeshadow palette called Koi. I've got it right here and if you're interested in some swatches, in a review, in a demo of this eye look using this palette, then just sit tight. We're going to get into it right now. First of all, happy 2019 to everyone. I cannot believe it is New Year's Day and what a way to ring in the new year. This is the brand new palette from Visi Art. It is now available on Muse Beauty Pro. I'm going to link to everything down below in my description box if you are interested. Visi Art and Muse Beauty Pro were so generous in sending me this palette to review for you guys to get it up for the release date, which is today, again, January 1st, and I couldn't be more excited. So if you are unfamiliar with their Grand Pro Volume 2 palette, it was their 30 pan uh, release that came out earlier. Oh my God, I almost said earlier this year, but it's 2019. It came out last year and it had six brand new formulas. This first column here was uh, a formula that they called a crystalline satin. And this brand new palette features that formula in 12 brand new shades. So this palette is housed in the brand new Viseart Slim Pro palette design. It has this kind of soft closed lid. It's a see-through lid so you can see what's going on inside. And then all of these pans are magnetized and they're easy to remove. There's grooves in between each pan and you can simply just kind of pop them out and replace however you want. So I'm just gonna quickly summarize uh, the little uh, info sheet that they sent along with this. This palette was inspired by brightly colored prismatic hues seen through water, which I think is so evident when I look at this palette. I think you can really clearly see that inspiration. I think that's really phenomenal, especially when I take a look at this like top row over here. It really looks like anytime I look into a fish tank, these are the colors that I see. And then I feel like these colors, if you kind of just keep staring, they'll kind of pop up. I really love that inspiration. I really love the execution of it. I think this is really, really such a wonderful interpretation of that theme. So let me just go ahead and show you a close up of this palette. Again, all 12 shades in this palette are brand brand new. They're exclusive to this palette at the moment. And here are some swatches of the shades. And just so you know, I dipped in once with my finger. I kind of swirled it around. I want to say maybe three times in the pan. And then it's just one swipe over my arm. But what's fantastic about this formula is that you can really customize the level of coverage that you want. If you want a really sheer coverage, very easy to do so with these. Obviously, you just kind of go in with a light hand, just blend it out, and you get this really lovely kind of like top coat. But then you can build them up. And if you layer up these colors, they really begin to become open opaque pretty quickly. And I find that to be the kind of like the real magic with these eyeshadows. Sure, companies have been coming out with, you know, topper shades, companies come out with great foiled shades, glitter shades, uh, satin shades, shimmery shades. But these I find to be really, really interesting because you could really change the opacity. I don't find you can do that with any kind of other topper type of shade. Any of the Tom Ford or the Charlotte Tilbury or uh, any, any of the topper shades I've ever played with, they remain topper shades. No matter how many layers you put on, they still somehow remain sheer. And in fact, if you go overboard with layering them, they end up looking really chunky and messy. And that doesn't happen with these shades. So you can really build up these shades and they don't like deteriorate in performance. They just become more opaque and more vibrant. One of the FAQs on here is, does this formula contain glitter? And I thought this was really interesting because I just assumed that it did, but the answer is no. No, this formula uses a special micronized reflective particle to add a glistening effect. I am no scientist, so I don't know exactly what that means, but what I can tell you in terms of my interpretation is when I look at these shadows on my lids or when I, you know, even look at these swatches here, I would imagine that glitter ends up just looking very uh, piecey, sandy, uh, you know, like like glitter, like little, little teeny tiny particles where like the little bits in these shadows, they just seem a little bit more integrated into the shadow where glitter always seems like it's either mixed in or it's thrown on top or whatever. These actually feel like they have become one with the shadow. I have no idea what special micronized reflective particle is, but that is how I feel about these shadows and this formula and those little bits. 
minutes. I don't know if there's any relation or whatever, but that's been my experience with these. I also want to mention, and you'll see this in the demo when I do a demo of this eye look, is that I experienced very, very little fallout. I did apply these over a cream shadow. The cream shadow, of course, has like a little bit of tackiness to it. So I think it does help with like the application of these. I felt maybe like a couple of uh, bits fall onto my eyelashes, but I didn't wipe away anything. And I don't have any kind of fallout like here where I usually see it or on the side of my nose. I don't see anything there. So I just wanted to make note of that. I am just really, really excited by this release from Viseart, especially because I think their mattes really outshine their shimmer shades. And I think that unfortunately has ended up being the reputation of Viseart. But I think with a lot of their more recent releases, like their nine pan palettes, like some of their theory palettes, their shimmery satin shades, I think have become really, really beautiful. I don't think that they're quite as subtle as the 12 pan palettes. So this as a kind of follow up to their Grand Pro Volume 2 palette, I think is wonderful. This formula I think is fantastic. I think it is absolutely beautiful. I think the color range in here is so interesting. These, this is definitely one of those palettes I look at and I'm like, I would have never ever come up with this inspiration, this color story, this color range. I, I just, my little brain could never have done that. And sometimes when I look at palettes like that, I'm like, Ooh, like that's not for me. But this one, I was like, wow, this is so beautiful. I would have never thought to have put all of these colors together in this finish and it totally works. It is so, so beautiful. So in my eye look today, I decided to put down a black base because I really wanted for you to be able to see these colors, whichever colors I ended up using, because sometimes it's really hard on camera to show off like uh, sparkly shadows, how sparkly they are, the true color of them. So I hope I capture that for you. And I also just stuck to two colors because these are so bright. I didn't wanna go overboard and too crazy and end up creating like, you know, a clown-like look that would not be appreciated and would do no justice to this palette. So I stuck with these two colors down here. They were just really interesting to me. I was tempted to use this, but I wanted something a little bit darker to add to the outer corners of my eyes, just to give my eyes a little bit of dimension, even though I have that black all over. So I hope you're okay with the fact that I just stuck with those two shades. So before we get into the demo, there is some really great information in this info sheet that they gave me that I haven't already mentioned. I'll just mention them very quickly. You can use a mixing medium with these shades to kind of amp them up. You know, you can make them a little bit bolder that way. So they give two uh, brush hair recommendations. Goat hair if you want a sheer application. Sable hair if you want a medium to full application. I use sable hair for my look, again, which you will see uh, in the demo. They recommend the Viseart Seamless Shadow Primer. It's recommended because it'll grab the pigments and keep everything in place. And I think that's it. So it is available for order on Muse Beauty Pro. It is there exclusively at the moment. Again, it's $80. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the demo for this eye look. All right, I'm starting off my look with some uh, like flat matte uh, black cream shadow. And this is part of the Surat Prismatique Eyes uh, scandal eyes. So this is the pot that's on top. These are those um, dual eyeshadows that have the cream eyeshadow on top and then there's like a powder underneath. I'm just going to be using this cream on top here. I have my Hakuhodo I-125 brush. So this is one of their synthetic haired brushes. It is like almost like a flat top um, angled mini kabuki brush for your eyes. So I'm just gonna dip that into the pot and I'm going to start to apply this onto my eyelid all over. All right, so I'm just starting there. I'll deal with what is gonna go on underneath my eye. Maybe when I'm done with the Viseart palette, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to my left eye. I'm just gonna take my Wayne Goss number 18 brush and just kind of even up my eyes a little bit by blending out the edges here. I took the left eye a little too high there. Let me see if I can just remove some of that. All right, so I have quite a bit of black cream shadow down. All right, so I'm gonna take my Esom W21 brush and I'm gonna go into this purpley shade. 
And I'm gonna to start to apply this on the inner portion of my lid, right on top of the black. That looks so cool. Check out that shadow color. Isn't that so pretty? It ends up being like this metallic periwinkle. It's so pretty. And I'm just bringing the color about like halfway over my lid just to kind of save some room for that green, even though I'm really tempted to just <laughs> cover my entire lid with this shade. So there is that shadow applied. It's so much fun. All right, I'm gonna go into that green color now and I'm gonna place this on the outer corner and just bring that in. I hope you can see that green shade, but it's doing what I wanted it to do. It's really kind of adding a little bit of um, depth and dimension, but I hope you guys can see like the fun kind of like gold glittery shift that's going on in that green. All right, so I'm really happy with where I am with the Koi palette, but I do need to kind of finish off the rest of my eye look. I'm probably gonna use some liquid eyeliner since this is a pretty kind of dramatic look, especially for me. You know, throw on some lipstick and I will be right back. So here is my final look. I just added a whole bunch of stuff. I will uh, link to everything that's on my face down below. I didn't add any more of the actual eyeshadow from this Viseart palette. I really love this palette. I think Viseart really outdid themselves with this. That that crystalline column in the Grand Pro Volume 2 palette, that first one, was one of my favorites. All the colors were just, they were so pretty, they were so ethereal, they just looked like they could add a little bit of like magic to any kind of eye look that you had going on. And so when they announced this palette and that it was an entire 12 pan of just that formula, I was really excited and I think Viseart really came through. So let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe down below. I would love that and I'll see you in my next video.